not at home or I'm not in my dorm. I am in California, San Diego. Yes, this is actually my first time pulling out this camera and it's obviously dark, there's no lighting. Let's, let's go in here. What are we doing in San Diego? We're here, cause today is my birthday. Hey, Feliz Navi. Wait, that's the wrong song. Happy birthday. Hey, hey. We're getting, I need to look at the lens and not up here at myself cause it look good. We're doing this solo dolo thing. We're gonna see, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So I'm not alone. So you guys can experience this with me and I'm not just eating there like, I just wanna get probably something nice, maybe something for my birthday. Like if they have dessert, like a birthday cake. Oh, yeah, let's head to this place. Let's, let's see what time it is. 9.13, so yeah, I need to Hurry up because this place closes at, I think, 10. This closes at 10, Nolito Hall. So we're gonna go to Nolito Hall, focus, focus, or not focus. The hotel seems okay so far. I don't know, the vibes are off. Plus, I cannot see the, the view of the harbor, so it's here. Whenever I pick this camera up, I'll see you guys next. All right, bye. Thank you. Here's a 23. I'm like trying to get my itinerary together. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but it's kind of loud in here. And we're by the airport too. Also, by the way, they didn't card me. Am I that old? All right, goodbye. Happy birthday. I'm on my way to get some Jack in the Box. I went out to a little bar place by myself. <laughs> we out here growing up, doing things on my own. Can't wait for nobody. Yeah, I'm about to go get some Jack in the Box real quick and head back to my, um, I was in my dorm. No, my hotel, bro. We are in San Diego. So yeah, I'll show you guys when I'm back at my hotel with my food. I'll tell you guys, oh, almost busted my ear. I'll tell you guys, you know, how my night went or how my day went all together. And yeah, see you guys later, peace. Hello you guys, I am back. Whew, I didn't like go out, but like, I guess I went out, I don't know. I don't really know what it was. I went first of course to get food cause I wanted vibes and like a nice drink or whatever. But then of course, here I am getting Jack in the Box because Jack in the Box is amazing. My night out was not too bad. It was really chill. I met up with some, well, I didn't meet up with anyone. I ran into these like Brazilian girls. Um, so funny because I thought they were like from New Zealand or something like that. Um, that's how diverse Brazilians are. Because I heard them speaking, and I was like, do they have an accent? Like, Okay, yes, they have an accent. They're speaking English. I was like, wait, are you guys like from New Zealand? Or they're like, no, Brazilian. I was like, Hello, put the case. <laughs> that was fun. I got a drink that was not good at all. The drink was called Nucky If You Buck. Like that thing nucked and bucked me because it was not good at all. I got, ooh, the mix, the halfsies, fries. Yes, the curly fries and the normal fries. Create a beautiful spread for, ah! <laughs> I gotta create a beautiful spread for you guys. Oh my God, my camera's about to die. Two tacos, bro, these Jack in the Box tacos are amazing. And then I got me this. Jalapeno, I think, cheddar cheese burger. Hey, what's up, you guys? So, it's a brand new day. Good morning, even though it's almost noon. I'm here in San Diego, as you guys saw from the clips from last night. Um, it was my birthday yesterday, so I was celebrating. So now today is not my birthday, but hey, it's still my birthday month. It's Leo season. And we're gonna go see what I can do. I haven't eaten yet. I was working on my laptop for my job for my internship so this packed up my bag oh my don't don't feel that i'm gonna go get a rental car i wanted to go eat at this place i'll put it here this place called morning glory but i was reading online that they said there was like long lines because i wanted these like big fluffy pancakes but honestly i'd rather just get there early in the morning tomorrow before i leave for my next destination i'll be taking a train and i don't know if you guys can see it down there I'm literally right in front of the train tracks, so that's fun. <laughs> I'm going to be taking the train to my next location tomorrow in California. And then we're gonna go to a few different places around San Diego, like hopefully La Jolla, which I hear is really beautiful. I think I wanted to go there for such a long time because it's just so nice, like the uh, the coast right there uh, to the Pacific Ocean. There's also this place called Balboa Park, which is actually not too far from where I am. So I honestly could just walk over there now. But my, what time is it? Guys, I'm about to head out. I made a final decision to go get some fish tacos only in San Diego. So we're gonna go get some tacos closer to downtown. Actually, it may be in downtown. But yeah, cause I couldn't decide what to eat. And it's now like almost, okay, you guys can't see it. Focus, yeah, it's almost 12 o'clock. And yeah, this day is just getting started. Y'all, it is so beautiful out here. Like, 
I forgot. People in California live differently. In a rental car, yes, very expensive. Let's not talk about it. Well, the deposit was not the actual car itself. Well, it was kind of expensive too, but yeah, the deposit. Not even in San Diego anymore. I'm in Mexico, no, <laughs> not in Mexico. The last border city, I believe, is San Isidro. I went downtown to San Diego, uh, San Diego downtown, what? and yeah, there was nothing there. I tried to go to this restaurant to get fish tacos and this butterbeer thing, they were closed. Well, they weren't just closed, like they got like they were like no more. There was like a new store. A new restaurant so yeah i try to come to in and out because you know as a tourist that's what you do but no it was too crowded like it was crowded closer to the interstate so i was like no why why is this line so long the food's not you i don't know what city i'm in actually let's do it i think i'm in chula vista chula vista bro this is mexico de verdad like these people are mexican because we're not too far from the oh actually i don't want to just throw around saying people are mexican just because we're by the border but the accents sounded pretty mexican i was speaking my spanish i won't even lie to you i was speaking my spanish i was like so confused and like just nervous as like what is going on like i don't know how to order ah are you that me <laughs> the guy in front of me was helping me even though we were speaking spanish so i'm gonna try this tacos i got two fish tacos dos uh tacos de pes i can't speak dos tacos de pescado y tengo un un juguito I don't know what it is. I think it's like chia tea or something. It looks good. How much was my total? Uh, taco pescado, dos taco pescado. Yes, and it was like 9.29, which is really good. The guy who like uh, was talking to me over there in Spanish, he, his car's right there. Shout out to him. I don't know his name, but shout out to him. Let me see. Vamos a provide. Okay. Okay. Interesting. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. The only thing is like there's stuff inside of it. Like I'm guessing it's like the chia seeds and maybe like crushed up pepino. I think people mean oh no, pepino is not. Oh, that's cucumber. Mi español es muy es muy mal. But yeah, that's pepino. Cucumber is pepino. I think pepper is pimienta. Let's taste test these tacos. This is what it looks like. You wanna see that? Okay, you guys cannot see that. The tacos, yum! I see, bro. Oh, actually, I don't know if they're delicious or tasty yet. Cause oh my gosh, why did they park by me? Mm. Hold on. Wow. This is amazing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. They know what they're doing back there in that kitchen. Right. I'm finishing this and I'll pick it up and let you guys know what I'm doing next. Peace. It's the last day in the hotel or where I'm at right now. I'm going to go get some breakfast real quick i was so successful yesterday with filming i ate those tacos that's the last time you guys saw me and then i need to go to the mall to pick up some stuff even though i really probably didn't need those things i got got some sandals yep, yep, yep. i wanted to go to la jolla yesterday and then i went to this place called tory pine something park and uh, i couldn't find parking and then one place was like 20 dollars. it's like ah no hopefully we can get into some things today before i leave for my next destination and yeah i'll see you guys while i'm on my way to go get some food some breakfast all right peace hello what's up you guys i'm here at morning glory i'm gonna watch people watch me from the public we're so basically like in little Italy in san diego so this is like a really crowded spot i'm so glad that i'm doing solo travel the wait is two hours it's like you're not like sitting by yourself so i'm gonna get my food and i'll show you guys what i get Just made it on the train, about to head to the 
Whew, today has been a day, but I'm in LA now. I'm in my car, my new rental. It was a hassle, but hey, we are here. I had some plans on doing something. Change of plans, we're just gonna go head to the hotel, chill there for a bit because I'm a bit tired. I don't know if I'll take a nap or not, but plan out a little bit of the rest of the day and you know plan out the few days that I'm here in LA and I'll be heading back to San Diego um, after my short little trip here in LA then heading back to the East Coast so I'll see you guys at the hotel peace so so tired but yeah I'm here staying in Culver City Los Angeles basically um, at the Hilton it's a really nice hotel little little little, little preview are my batteries actually dying for this what? A lot of things have not been going well today, but it's okay. I'm kind of just like really bummed Like solo traveling takes a lot of work and I wish I honestly would have prepared beforehand Good morning you guys it is a new day. I am here in Los Angeles Culver City Specifically because I'm here at a hotel the Hilton Culver City. All right, let's go around LA See what's good and I will catch you guys whenever I pick up the camera next. Peace. Okay, you guys, just got back from Melrose Trading Post. It was so hot outside, like, oh my God, it's still hot out. I'm like airing out right now in my car. It was fun out there, it was really cool. On my channel here I do a lot of thrifting or I did a lot of thrifting. So it's kind of cool to see that like times 10, like outside too and being in Los Angeles as well. The only thing I got was, wow I can't see it. This necklace right here says Leo, if you guys can see that, because obviously I'm a Leo. I got something to drink, uh, some, some passion fruit juice and then I also got some water because it was, Scorching out there. It is currently 87 degrees. I think it's more like 90, but we won't argue with my the car. We won't argue with the car's temperature. Next, I'm gonna go get some tacos from a black owned food truck. I found this guy on Instagram. I saw him like a long time ago. Like I think maybe when I came to LA the first time this year. And yeah, I need to go try this man's tacos. I think he makes quesadilla type tacos or something. I don't know. But we gotta go try this man's foods because it looks so good. Went to this place, it's a food truck called Not Your Tacos. I saw it on um, Instagram or somewhere, maybe like TikTok and black owned food truck. I think, I wanna say Inglewood because uh, I think that's the area I'm in now. Kool-Aid. <laughs> All right. Y'all, this looks so good. So I got right here first, uh, three enchilada tacos, refried beans, even put cheese on that, and then some rice. Oh my gosh, I'm about to dig in. Let, uh, let me take a picture real quick, you know, cause uh, my camera has to eat first, and then I will um, do a taste test. All right, I'm in. Yeah, that's good. This is so good. 10 out of 10, sorry. If you're ever in Inglewood or driving around East LA, come here. Get some tacos, but you can follow them on Instagram because they have different locations there in terms of where their truck parks. But yeah, this is so good. I'm gonna finish eating, go to Target, and then head back to my hotel, and I guess I'll check in with you guys later on today. All right, peace. What's up, you guys? I took a nap. I'm heading to Malibu. Yes, yes, yes. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys when I'm on my way to Malibu. What's up, you guys? <laughs> It's been a while since I picked up the camera, but only for you a few seconds. Uh, I am back in sunny San Diego. Yes, yes, yes. Even though it was pretty sunny in, in LA as well. Took the Amtrak and I arrived here like a few hours ago. I'm in a new rental car, as you guys can see. And I'm about to actually get some sushi and I've always wanted to eat at a rolling sushi place. So that's what we're gonna do. And then after that, we're gonna check into my hotel and maybe try and go to some beach somewhere to catch the sunset and take pictures because yesterday when i went to malibu i don't even know if i filmed that it was so unsuccessful so yeah i'm gonna do that but as of now let's go get some sushi all right all right you guys i'm here at the sushi place i'm here at la jolla 
You guys can see it behind me. Ah, this place is so nice. We all come tomorrow for like sunrise, but other than that, I'm chilling. I'm chilling out here. We're walking by as well. Oh no, you're good. <laughs> Making a movie? Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So it looks like the trip is coming to an end. Today is officially the last day being here in California. Such a great time, such a honestly, I guess you could say time of reflection, time of peace. Getting ready to leave, doing my last things on my list of things I want to do here in San Diego and we'll head back over to, you know, back home on the East Coast. So, all right, you guys, I will see you guys later in the next clip. Hey guys, I'm back in La Jolla like I was yesterday. But now it's day compared to yesterday was in the evening. So I'm gonna go visit this place called the Cave Store. Like it goes down and you can see like the Cove of La Jolla. It's so nice. So we're gonna go do that. Minolta Family Zoom 2 to take some film pictures. I just picked up some film not too long ago from CVS. Even though it's the last day, I still wanna take a little bit of film pictures. But all right, let's head over there. I'm by myself. This is, this is insane. <laughs> oh my god. It's like straight up decline. And oh my gosh, 145 steps. I should have been counting. Oh lord. They said like if you see any sea lions, then run back up. Um let's hope that it doesn't like okay, let's not think of bad scenarios, but I'll just show you the descent down. Whoop. Oh man. Woo! 